I had seen him at his home, there in our cottage in as a young, energetic, bubbly, mischief in his eyes, Chintu. Those were the rare occasions when I had the privilege of being invited to spend an evening at Ranchi's home. I would of course see him more often at Arke Studios when he was training or what they would say in today's language, prepping for his role in Bobby. His training or his prep used to happen in that iconic makeup room of Arke Studios, the large makeup room at the, at the end of the corridor on the first floor of Arke Studios. That special makeup room of Ranchi. He had a walk that was confident and determined. A style and a stride which uh, was very similar to his grandfather's walk, the legendary Prithvi Rajka. I had seen Prithvi Rajji walk like that in one of his films and Chintu's walk was reminiscent of that. We worked in several films together, Chintu and I. Kavi Kavi, Amarapar Anthony, Naseeb, Kohli, and more recently, When he spoke his lines, you believed every word of it. That was the genuineness and the, the sincerity with which it was spoken. There were never any alternatives to the way he spoke his dialogues. And there's never been any other that could lip sync a song as perfectly as he would. He had a playful attitude all the time. His playful attitude was infectious on the set. Even in the most grave sequences that we were about to shoot, he would discover that comedic spark and uh, we would all just crack up. Not just the sets, but even when we were together at a formal event, he would find that little distracted light, that light-hearted moment that was lightened the situation a bit. When there was a lapse in the shooting, the shot is being ready, he would never stop and sit still, gather the people around, pull out a pack of cards, start playing, or he would bring out his very elaborate bagatelle board and ask all of us to join in and, and play with him. It was not fun, it was, it was competition. He would put it up as a, as a competition amongst all. During the time of his diagnosis and his treatment, he never ever lamented his condition. It was always, um, I'll see you soon, just a routine visit to the hospital. I'll be back shortly. Shuali Beef, the exuberant enjoyment of life was a gene that he inherited from his legendary, the ultimate showman, the iconic Rajkumar. I never visited him in hospital. I never wanted to see 
distress on this smiling, charming face. But I'm certain when he went, he must have gone with the gentle smile.